Hi, this is Mike Pettigrew and I'd like to welcome you to a new episode of Transformation and Empowerment. A great man once said, strive to master your mind rather than allowing your mind to master you. So what did he mean by this statement, striving to master our mind rather than allowing our mind to master us? Basically, he realized that as human beings, we all possess two types of mind. Firstly, we have a mind that tries to keep us small and powerless and that constantly whispers all sorts of nonsense to us pretty much all day long. That part of our minds that tells us that we're useless and that we shouldn't even bother, it's that part of ourselves that keeps making us give in instead of doing really great things. Uh, but we have another part of our mind and that's completely the opposite. It's that part of ourselves that we might call our higher self or our source of inner wisdom. And unfortunately, since we are so dominated by, by this inner negativity most of the time, it's very hard to hear that quiet inner voice, which is the source of all wisdom. Now, we all have this part of ourselves, and it's extremely important that we make every effort we can to connect with that part of ourselves. Because we need to learn how to listen to this part of ourselves, because it's the part of our mind that keeps us moving forwards and the part of us that can enable us to live a fully happy and fulfilled life. Now, we all have this source of an inexhaustible wisdom within us, but most of the time connecting with it is actually not a very common experience at all. And, but I'm absolutely convinced that the, this battle within us, the battle between light and dark, positivity and negativity, or you might say even good and evil, it's a continual struggle that never ends. And whether we allow ourselves to keep our lives small and powerless and achieve very little during our lifetime, or whether we discover this immense powerhouse within us, is to totally dependent on whether we win or lose over this negative voice within us. And it's, it's amazing how this negative voice, being so subtle, controls our lives to such a huge extent. And because it literally constantly whispers to us all sorts of things that hold us back. So it's no wonder that most people never really live lives where they totally transform their lives and make a big difference in society. Now, I know that I've said this in several other videos before, but I honestly believe that the difference between a person who transforms society and someone who achieves very little during their lifetime is completely dependent on whether or not we manage to overcome this negative voice within us and do so continuously because it's only when we start to see this negativity for what it is and counteract its influence by connecting with our higher self and inner wisdom that we can really take full control over our lives and live a lifetime of continual successes and happiness. You see, we really cannot become truly happy and fulfilled unless we become acutely aware of this inner battle that takes place within us all the time. But becoming aware of it isn't enough on its own because we also need to learn how to connect with the greater part of ourselves far more potently so that our negative inner voice is to at least some extent drowned out by this life force that wells up from within us. So you may ask, how can we possibly overcome this negative force that lies within us? Well, fortunately, as I say, we all possess an incredibly potent positive force that really in many ways is our natural state of being. But the only thing that stops it from being revealed all the time is the fact that we allow our negative self this advantage most of the time. For, for example, fear is something that we do not possess when we come into this world as a baby. We learn fear from our parents, our siblings, and our misfortunes during our life. Likewise, as we grow up from childhood into adulthood, we each accumulate vast numbers of memories from experiences where we've suffered in all sorts of different ways. So gradually, as we grow up, our belief about what is possible starts to shrink and we start to settle for second best or third best or even worse. And if we ask any child what they would like to be when they grow up, in most cases they get really excited and they say that they want to be a scientist or a rock star or a doctor or a famous football player. They have absolutely no disbelief and they are convinced that they will achieve their determination. But unfortunately, by the time most children reach their late, late teens or mid-twenties, they've had so many painful experiences that keeping up such a vision for their lives often becomes impossible. 
Now a long time ago when I was only 12 I went to boarding school for a few years and I remember getting guitar lessons once a week with two other guys who were also learning the guitar. Now the amazing thing is that one of these guys who was a couple of years older than me was convinced that someday he was going to be a, a, a world famous rock star. Now most kids believe such things but he was convinced of it. And to be honest, I don't think anyone believed him. Nobody took him seriously. But the amazing thing is that he kept his vision alive. He kept his determination steadfast, despite what people may have thought. And only a few years later, he became the bass guitarist of one of the world's most famous rock groups, U2. So this just shows, this shows that when we keep our determination alive and keeping ourselves empowered, it can do incredible things for our lives. We can transform our lives and achieve anything. And we really can overcome this negative voice that constantly tries to keep us small and powerless and that continually tries to sabotage our dreams. We really can. But there, and there are actually many ways of doing this, but one of these is to use the power of affirmations. And affirmations are simply short, positive statements that we make to ourselves aloud each day. And Affirmations are a very powerful way of reprogramming our subconscious mind for success and happiness rather than failure. And another way, another great way is to use the power of self-hypnosis because self-hypnosis can help us to quickly overcome all sorts of self-limiting beliefs that we may have had for years and start with a clean slate. But that's not all. Another very important way of, of overcoming this negative part of ourselves is by developing a burning desire for something really big and worthwhile for our lives. And having a burning desire and putting energy and focus into that desire every day and also taking action steps towards an achievement enables us to move very far towards achieving our heart's desire. Also, never giving in to temporary failure is a vital component in becoming stronger than this negative voice that assails us continuously. You only need to look at the lives of a very few highly successful people to quickly realize that most of them have failed many times, but their persistence is what got them through and that this was the deciding factor in their ultimate great success. But also there is another way of connecting powerfully with our own inner wisdom and this is learning how to meditate. There have been massive amounts of research done into the effects of meditation on both our mind and our body and it's an absolute fact that meditation can lower our blood pressure, it can allow us to re relax deeply and recharge and it can also enable us to tap in powerfully to the inner wisdom that we all possess deep within our lives. So there are actually several ways of learning how to master our minds rather than allowing our minds to master us. To master our mind, we need to connect with our higher self in any way that we can. And when we draw forth energy and vitality and wisdom, what happens is our negative inner voice becomes quieter. It becomes a lot lot quieter. But it's important to realize that it never goes away completely. You see, there is purpose to everything in the universe. Without negativity, we could not grow fully as human beings. It's just not possible. So it's really the battle between the light and the dark or positive and negative forces within us that actually gives rise to life itself. It's not possible to live in this world and only experience positivity all the time. If we did, we really would not grow spiritually as human beings. It would be impossible. Difficulty and hardship almost always forces us to grow and very few of us can really grow quickly when everything is blissfully tranquil and we have almost no challenges. It's just not possible without challenges. And I learned this many years ago when I was a hospice volunteer uh, for several years. I had a very successful business which allowed me to work only a day and a half a week and it gave me a very high income. And I had lots of time on my hands that I d devoted to helping people. So what I did was I did voluntary work most days of the week and I really believe that I helped a lot of people. And I really enjoyed doing this work, especially the hospice volunteer work. But it was a period of my life where I had very few real challenges. And even though I was creating value for people, I wasn't really growing within myself in the way I was capable of. But several years later, when I lost every single cent in the world and I couldn't provide 
food for my wife or our baby son that had just been born, my learning and growth started at a far faster rate than ever before. I started growing very rapidly, I assure you. But it was this incredibly painful experience, and it's, it, it's one that I'll never forget. But I'm so grateful for those experiences because I've learned so much about life, human beings, and also discovered far more of the power that I have within myself. It was, as I say, it was an awful experience, but I'm deeply grateful for it. So, at this point you may ask, have I mastered my own mind? Have I managed to do this? Well, all I can say is that most of the time I do manage to overcome this negative inner resistance that tries to sabotage everything that I do. But because this battle within us takes place continuously, and because it never goes away, there are some days I don't manage to completely win. However, I'm glad to say most of the time I do manage to tip the balance between positivity and negativity, but what's most important is how often we win over our negative voice. As I say, it'll never completely go away and anyone who believes that it will is definitely not seeing things as they really are. A strong positive thought is 10 times more powerful than the stream of negative thoughts that would go through our mind each day. But the important thing to realize is whichever we allow to dominate will ultimately determine how our lives actually turn out, whichever we allow to dominate, positive or negative. So I really hope that this gives you a better understanding of the nature of negativity and how to overcome it. It's, I, I feel it's also important to understand that we have great capacity as human beings to overcome our suffering. Or if we wish, we can just allow ourselves to wallow in it and nothing really changes when we do this. So really what I'm saying is a certain amount of suffering is great for growth, but too much suffering is just a waste. So it's important to not prolong your suffering when things are really rough and to move yourself forward in a powerful new direction as quickly as you can. So please do try your utmost from this point forward to master your own mind rather than allowing it to master you. And I'm absolutely certain you can do this. It will take effort and persistence and lots of determination, but the benefits far outweigh the costs. By overcoming your negative inner voice, you can achieve anything that you set your mind to. However, on the other hand, if you continue to allow negativity to hold you back in so many different ways, then I'm afraid to say that nothing much will ever change for you. So, Please make the choice right here and right now to draw forth this wisdom from within your life and to start bullying that negative voice that has tried to control you for so many years. You will be delighted that you made this decision and your life will progress in all sorts of wonderful new ways that at this point you may not even be able to imagine. So really try this, really make this effort, please. So win over yourself today and every day. Thanks so much for watching. I really do hope you've enjoyed this episode. And before I go, I have a very special offer for you, which I'll explain in a moment. But before I do, I just want to say that if you've enjoyed this episode, then please do give us a like below this video. Because when you do this, it enables other people to also benefit from it. Of course, if you'd like to leave a comment, then you're most welcome to do so, and I'll be really happy to hear from you. Now, if you're watching this episode on YouTube, then please do remember to subscribe to my channel. And you can also listen to my Transformation and Empowerment podcast on iTunes. Now, let me tell you about the special bonus I mentioned a moment ago. Because if you go to my website right now at mikepettergrew.com, then for a limited time only, you can get free lifetime access to our special members only area. Membership will give you access to all sorts of inspiring and empowering videos and training materials that you won't find anywhere else on my website. And again, right now, membership is completely free, but I can really only offer this for a limited time. So I strongly recommend that you get your membership right now. And I believe you will find it a very 
valuable resource and source of inspiration and empowerment. And you can sign up and get immediate access from any page on my website. So again, thank you so much for watching this episode and I look forward to serving you again soon.